everybody. Welcome to the channel. What you're about to see next is some of the most accurate predicting predictive programming that I've ever seen. And what it did was it subliminally prepared its viewers for the coming spamdemic. Now, as we have been doing for the last 10 years on this channel, we will continue to expose this predictive programming. And as we expose the predictive program, we begin to understand some of the dynamics behind how this works. There's some element to this, some psychological element that predictively programs people, but then erases that programming from your memory. So that when you watch these things back, you don't even remember seeing some of these scenes. You might have remembered the basic subject matter, but when it comes down to the details, they always say the devil's in the details, right? The very specific predictive programming that prepared your mind for the reality that came after the programming, the subliminal statements and images and scenes, this you have all forgotten. And that's why when we go back in hindsight and look at it, you're just shocked because you're like, how did this get by me? There's something written into this in the way that it comes through the screen that is wiping it from your memory so you don't remember it. Now, when I finally watched this series called Counterpart, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was clear and precise foreshadowing of what was to come. And this was an entire year before it happened. What you are going to see next and hear is the criminalization of not participating in the eradication of a flu-like disease. You're going to see mandatory masks. You're going to see social distancing. You're going to see and hear the mention of an Italian be seen. Now we all know what happened because this hit Italy very hard in the beginning. They were center stage in the news. And lo and behold, a year before it happened was predicted here. And there's also the inference of this flu created as a bee weapon. So, what is the premise of this series? Let me make sure we're okay before we keep going with this. Does everybody hear me okay? Sound's been really good lately, so we'll just keep going with this. What is the premise of this series called Counterpart? Now, this originally aired, it started airing in 2017. The scenes you're going to see here are in 2018. That's a full year, almost two years, before CV-19. Well, what happens is, they say that a gate was opened that spawned a copy of our reality. And they would access this gate by walking underground through these underground stairs and popping up the other side. And they would see basically a copy of our universe, all the same people, but it was just, it started out as a perfect copy. And then over time, it began to change and diverge from our reality. Now, these players, only a select group of people, small group of people, would move back and forth across this counterpart world. They would go through this place called an embassy, but of course it was a top secret embassy. They had to have to show their passports. They weren't allowed to carry any contraband between the worlds to not disrupt the natural flow of that world, the natural progression, development of that world. And like I said, it started out the same as ours. It was a duplicate copy. But then over time, the world began, one of the worlds began to descend into chaos. And it all was kicked off by this worldwide flu that they say took out 7% of the world's population. And as a result, certain technologies were different than our timeline. And the streets were empty of people. You're going to see all that here. 
And basically this flu changed the course of human interaction. As the world became gripped in fear. People didn't shake hands anymore. They were separated from their loved ones. Are you getting chills yet? Because I know I did when I decoded this series. Now, the side that experienced this flu spamdemic, they suspected that the other side had launched a bee weapon at them to get rid of them. But, of course, it was written off by the mainstream as conspiracy. And conspiracy theorists were discredited. Is all this starting to sound familiar? Now, I'm going to break this down into chunks. I'm on like episode 8 of the first season. We're going to look at the first chunk today. And I already have another one behind it, another trailer behind it. That I'm going to show you next. It'll probably upload like tomorrow on the backup channel. And this trailer here was actually uploaded on the backup channel too. Many of you did not see it. Only 2,700 people saw this trailer. I linked it up in the chat, the pinned chat here, if you want to see the trailer. But we're going to cover this trailer today in depth. And um, we'll probably upload most of our trailers on the backup channel instead of this one. Just because um, we need to grow that channel. Because I have a strange feeling they're going to come at this channel pretty soon. So we got to get that other channel up and running so that we can reach as many people as possible. All right, let's take a look at this. And at the end of today's show, we're going to do a V-Scene update on where things are at. I got some headlines pulled up, like four or five tabs. And we're going to look at where everything sits right now. There's some shocking developments that everybody needs to know about. So you can share this with family and friends, especially people that are considering going to get this thing, right? All right let's watch this. Just whatever you do. Think of it like this. Up until 30 years ago, there was just this. Then this happened. This is a bad idea. Hi, Howard. Then this. Now, we're like... Two people. Two completely different paths. So, that's Howard. Let me just back this up a little bit. Now, we've gone over and over again about what H means. It's alphanumerically, it's the eighth letter of the alphabet. And everybody knows it. So when you put H and H together, it forms 88. And that's time and space. That is the secret code to time travel. This is why Marty had to reach 88 miles an hour to go back to the future. So... Howard and Howard, those are two Howards. Now, Howard is like the main guy. This Howard is like the wimpy Howard. He's kind of, you know, he's very passive. Everyone always runs over him in his life. His wife is cheating on him and he just accepts it and still loves her anyway. And then this Howard is the dark side Howard. He's like an assassin. Uh, he's hardcore. Uh, has no empathy for anybody. So this is his doppelganger. And we've been talking all about this. So this is very eerie. Now I know of course that many of you have sent me uh, subject matter pertaining to this. In terms of these series. But when you look at all these different doppelganger series together. You begin to see the patterns very clearly. Of what they're trying to communicate to us. So let's keep watching this trailer here. Two people. Two completely different paths. Sollten Sie jemanden kennen, der Krankheit now, people ask, where'd you get this clip? This is from the series, you guys. Now, some of these um, scenes are in German. And, oh, I said the word. You can't, you're not allowed to say that on YouTube anymore. I don't know if you knew that. But we're going to spell it out from now on. G-E-R-M-A-N. And what's the sensitivity with, with YouTube about some of these words? I don't know. It's really bizarre, right? But... As you can see, these are their subtitles, not mine. Someone you know is showing symptoms of illness and isn't seeking help. So what they've done here is they've criminalized anyone that does not comply. And pretty soon that will be people who don't take the V scene. And watch this. They got the children here. 
in the playground, they notice that little Johnny, or whoever his name is, is coughing and sneezing. So what are the, what's the first thing they do? They all pull their masks out. Now this is shocking. 2018, you guys. You must report this to a neighborhood clinic. This is where we're all headed. Unless we stop this now, the charade needs to stop. Now. Because what has happened is, they're telling you, they're, this, they're t they told you what was going to happen before it happened. Two people, two completely different paths. So okay. If this isn't the proof some people need, then I don't know what you need to show people to show them that they already knew what was going to happen. We're the ones playing in the charade. Someone, uh, a subscriber, had uh, said something about trying to share this with family, and they said they should stop following a man, inferring that they should stop watching channels like mine. You're not following me. All I'm showing you is a mirror. I'm showing you a reflection of what they're telling you they're going to do to you. That's all. I'm no, I'm nobody. I follow the Most High, take His instructions, but I say over and over again, glory to God and the Most High, not me. I don't want any attention. I'm simply here to do a job, and that is to warn people that they're already telling you what they're going to do. Keep watching. You must report this to a neighborhood clinic. When we let ourselves be vulnerable to disease, we put our loved ones at risk. What's the message that they're telling us right now? This is exactly what they're telling. Guilting everybody. Are they not? Look at she's hiding. This poor little girl is hiding under the, the, the playground. To escape this boy. Now, what shocks me is that when I put this trailer up on the backup channel, which is what you're looking at here. Look at this. Eight people don't like this. Uh, Do they think this is a joke or a trick? Has someone told them that this is fake? Because it's not fake. This was right from the series. Or that they just not like me. Whatever. There's going to be a day of reckoning for those of you who like to thumbs down these kinds of videos because what you're doing is trying to discredit what is being shown. This isn't a trick. This isn't clickbait. This is real. So this is our life now. They already knew what our life was going to be. Failure to report the illness of your loved one is punishable by a fine. We're almost there now. You know... They're saying now, and this isn't televised very much, but if you live in one state and you travel to another, if there is a quarantine advisory when you return and you do not follow that quarantine, you can get in a lot of trouble. Hefty fines for not quarantining after you travel. Does this sound like they predictively programmed this? I mean, I hate to beat this drum, but sometimes people have to see this over and over again to understand what's going on. Look at this. There's social distancing. Look at jail sentence. There's social distancing from this boy. Now, the inference here also, many of you who have been on this channel for a while... You understand that a soccer ball has a an adrenochrome molecule on it. And that's a very deep symbolism right there. Possible quarantine. I think this was episode three, maybe episode two, if you want to look this scene up. But it's undeniable. Ihre 
personal health is public health. So what that means is you don't have a choice because we're in a spamdemic. You lose your rights. You have to comply. If you don't comply, you know, that's, that's not good. We've got to handle that. You've lost your ability to choose at this point. This is the message. Burger and Familian. Look at this logo here. Whoa, this is like the Warp Speed logo. Kind of, right? Whoa, wait, hold on. Warp Speed logo. Whoa. Before Warp Speed was ever... Invented or developed by Mr. T. Oops, let's go back here. Where's everybody this morning? So YouTube's playing some funny games because normally it's about 1,300 people watching this channel in the mornings. Look at this. There's the warp speed cube. Interesting. Let's keep watching this. Enjoy the show. Now, she's in a movie theater, of course, but the inference here is, uh, get ready. This is going to happen next year. Enjoy the show. And that's what we're doing right now. Unreal. Because I don't want to walk in asking for corn yields or vaccines. Now, this part, they have these assassins that have come across and are taking out people. They have like a hit list and... They capture this woman and they're negotiating her release to the other side. And this guy's like trying to get something for this person that they have captured, right? And he's like trying to negotiate and he's like corn yields or VCs. So that you knew. When we could have a, a windfall on our hands, Peter. I was there six months ago. How many more of these bloody things do I have to have? This inoculation is every three months now when you cross. So, regular inoculations, that's what they're prepping us for. Every three to six months, you're going to have to go in and get another one. It's not just this and it's over. Okay? Once you go in the hole, once you go down the path, you're agreeing to sign up for the whole rest of it. Once we did the two weeks to flatten the curve, that's when we agreed to go and do the rest of it. Once you agree to the first set, then you're agreeing to all the sets. Because they're just going to keep making new strains or create, keep telling us there are new strains. Yes, I'm sure everything is better over there. Uh, not always. Your fruits and vegetables, for instance. Genetic modification is, is wondrous. Now, they mention Monsanto. There's some element to this that ties into all this. And I told you this before. A lot of the decos we've done, they dovetail the Monsanto angle and the GMO foods with the VC. We saw this in Childhood's End when the alien, Cruellen or whatever his name was, gives the man, his liaison, this vial. And he says, if you open the vial, you will cure all of humanity's illness. Well, when he opens the vial, he's standing in the middle of a corn field. Remember that scene? Well, that is what it's all about. There's some, some interaction between GMO and the V-scene. And what I think it is, is that the V-scene is the genetic modification. The corn, the modified corn represents modified humanity. Keep watching. Italian vaccination numbers and a classified seismic summary. Of what? Italian vaccination numbers. There you go. Remember, Italy was front and center a year after this aired. Now remember, this was all filmed a year before that. So this is like two to three years before all of this actually happened. And a classified seismic summary of the 2000... An earthquake. Well, this is a very generous offer. They don't do that, by the way. What? 
shake hands in Berlin on the other side. They don't shake hands anymore. That's what's happening now. Everyone does the arm bump, fist bump. This is our new reality, all predicted. You'll see. It's a germ thing. It's a germ thing. Now, the other, the, the two Howards desi decide to trade places. Okay? And one Howard goes in the other Howard's world, and the other Howard comes back into the other Howard's world. And so, the Howard from our world goes into their world, and he's shocked. He's like, wow, look at this. Look at how they're spraying everything down and, you know, wiping everything down. This is what we're living through right now. And it says down here, peace of mind for your new home. They come in and, like, spray it all down and sanitize it. Then he looks around. There's nobody on the streets. This is exactly what we went through. And this woman goes up to this UV light and puts her hands in to sanitize them. She's wearing a mask. Everybody's masked up. And then we see the number 58 in the background. We know what the 58 is. It's synonymous with Mr. T himself, the president, former President Trump. He's the one that created the VC through warp speed, as we just showed you, that would it would be unleashed upon America. And that's he is the 58th, he won the 58th election. And there's so much more to the number 58, but we're not going to belabor that point. Everybody's masked up. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, what are these actors thinking? Do they not understand the connection to what they were just involved in with the making of this series to what we're going through right now? Do they not get this? Shame on these people. Shame on you. For not being awake. For letting this happen to all of us. Had your exam lately? Failure to report illness is a crime. So this is the other world, the counterpart world. Now back in the day, videos like this would go viral. Not anymore. Look at look how an effect how an effective job that YouTube has done stopping truth from getting out. Now other people have probably covered this, but I don't know if anyone's covered it yet. Has anyone covered counterpart yet? This is crazy. Now this part I wanted to show you because in their world, there's these twisted buildings that look like a twisted strand of DNA, which also represents the reaving or duality or time portals. Reaving means twisting or curling, right? I've been covering that at length. Now, I'm going to check in with you guys and we're going to see these other headlines that I have pulled up here. Let's take a look here. Let this chat catch up. Thanks everybody for making it to the show this morning. Yes, Cuba symbolism for Saturn worship. 100%. Alright, so what else is going on in the world? Well, here's the sun. And... This is what's happening. Remember the doctor? Well, 36 others. And those are just the ones that they made the connection to the VC. Have developed a rare blood disorder after getting the VC. Now, here's the creepy part. This blood disorder, they basically bleed out from the inside. Remember, we did the perseverance... Anagram scramble and it came out meaning uh, a blood thinner and a serpent bite. And we talked about that. Well, this is actually what's happening to people who take the VC. Basically, they're bleeding from the inside out. Their own immune system begins to attack them and they cannot form clots. Now, why isn't Fauci even mentioning this at all? 36 people, this was dated February 10th, so about three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. 
They don't want you to focus on this at all. If they wanted to give a fair balance, they would talk about this. Try to mitigate these facts. The fact of the matter is there's a lot of people who probably got a blood, this blood disorder that didn't make the connection between the, at the time that they got the VC and the time they got the blood disorder. In other words, adverse events are underreported and everybody knows it. I worked in the pharmaceutical industry for 15 years and I know for a fact that adverse events are underreported. Grossly underreported because very few people make the connection. Now, in clinical trials, they do watch for these adverse events much more closely. But once the drug is released into the public, good luck finding out if there's a, a connection between the two. And think of the incentive. The incentive is not to report the adverse events. Why? Because the drug companies are putting so much pressure on the doctors and, and showering them with so much money and incentive to prescribe the drug that a lot of doctors are just going to go, okay, well, whatever, that's probably not connected. They might not do it intentionally, but they're going to subliminally just write it off as something else. I have real life examples of people that have been suffering from something that they're taking and the doctor, the doctors are just in ignorance. They will not admit that that possibly could be causing the symptoms and the adverse events that the patient is, is experiencing. And you guys all know this for a fact. You guys have been through it. And I would like to hear your feedback in the chat. If you were on some kind of medication, experiencing a side effect or something going on with your body that the doctors just kept ignoring and they would just give you another drug to patch it up. And when you finally decided to get off the drug you were on, you finally started feeling better. So the only way we help people is to share experiences. So please, please share your experiences in the chat so people can understand how this works. The doctors are busy. They're incentivized to, first of all, they won't unsubscribe, unprescribe, sorry, a medication that another doctor in another specialty has prescribed. They're disincentivized from doing that because that's not their specialty. They don't want to get in a pissing match with another doctor from another specialty by unsubscri unprescribing, geez, that patient from that medication. And I know this, you too, because I worked in the pharmaceutical industry for 15 years. And all I did all day was call on doctor's offices. So I get it. I was around patients and doctors every day of the week. Nine to five. So, this is what's going on. So this is this rare disorder, right? They're calling it rare. 36 plus the doctor, that's 37. Let's read it quickly about this. Florida doctor died and developed a rare blood disorder after receiving CV-19. Just three days after he received the, the VC, Gregory Michael, 56, of Miami Beach, developed symptoms for immune thrombocytopenia. A rare blood disorder that stops secretion of platelets, which are necessary for clotting. Now, you ready for this? Here's the doctor here. Many of you know that... How do I explain this? Okay, I had a former stepson. He had a rare blood disorder where his his uh, spleen would collect all of the blood and it would pool inside of his spleen to the point where his blood platelets would become low. He would have to get blood transfusions. This was at four years old. He almost died like two times. And he's all grown up now. I guess he's okay. He still talks to my kids. And the crazy thing is that this was a genetic disease. He was born with it and his father had it. So, uh, they're saying this is a rare disorder, but this is really weird. It almost seems genetic. Michael, an obstetrician, died in January from the disorder after treatments failed to restore his platelets. So they had this guy on blood transfusions and treatments to try to bring his blood platelets to normal levels. He bled from the inside out. You guys... You know how rare it is to die in a plane crash? 
But yet, a lot of people will not fly on a plane because they fear that they would be the 0.001% of people that died on a plane crash. We're now approaching, starting to approach some of these numbers here with some of these adverse events. Facial paralysis, the, you know, the possible long-term effects for the immunity system, for the immune system. Uh, stuff like this, bleeding out from the inside out. Luz Leposki, 72, woke up to find bruises on her arms and legs and bleeding blisters in her mouth just a day after receiving her first dose. This is the first dose. It's another person. When she went to New York City Hospital, she was similarly diagnosed with the same blood disorder. So right here. 72 years old. This poor lady. Why did you go get it? Didn't you see one of our videos? Or one of the thousands of videos out there of people trying to warn you? Oh, but because we're not medical professionals, not allowed. After Legaspi's doctor got in touch with Michael's doctor to see what his treatment was, uh, why aren't these doctors getting on the mainstream news and saying, you guys, hold on. Why aren't they trying to contact Slouchy? Leposki's doctor took a different line of treatment with increased her platelet count from 0 to 6,000 to 40,000 to a healthy 71,000 within days. So I guess she survived. Health experts, however, are asking the public not to rush to any conclusions. Oh yeah, no, nothing to worry, nothing to see here, move along. Over 31 million people have received at least one dose of the VC, and only 37 people have developed such a disorder. Well, that's a lie, that's fake news. Because you don't know that only 37 people have developed the disorder. What about the people that didn't know to go to the hospital or didn't want to make the connection? Or what about the people who were railroaded or told that it had nothing to do with this? Because the doctors are getting so much money to VC people and to treat people for CV-19. What about corruption? This number is far higher. So to say for a matter of fact that only 37%, 37 people have developed such a disorder, that would I would say the fact checkers would need to uh, fix that statement there. Officials stress that the 37 cases reported only show problems described by healthcare providers or patients after VC and does not indicate whether the VCs themselves cause the disorder. So they're still trying to say that has nothing to do with it. This is our medical establishment. Hey, for those of you that want to believe that, go right ahead. They're still stressing the VC is safe and the disorder is highly unlikely. So they're admitting that it caused it right here with this statement, highly unlikely, but then they're denying it here. They're saying two things in the same article. Does not indicate whether the VC caused the disorder. We can neither confirm nor deny. Sound familiar? Health officials are repeated extensively that there is an, an inconclusive link between the disorder and the VCs. They stress the VCs are safe. Obviously, they're not safe. There have been a small number of severe allergic reactions. Uh, the small number they're talking about is much higher than the 37 people that got the blood disorder. So this would be fake news right here too. Fact checkers, where are you? Small number. The inference, this is, uh, what do they call it? Missing context? Missing information here? Small number of severe allergic reactions. Uh, well, the number is much higher than 37, so that's not a small number in comparison. But they were easily treated and were at the same rate as other allergic reactions reported for other VCs. Oh, it's just as dangerous as the other ones. Unbelievable. I get so irritated with this, you guys. I'm sorry, but I, I just can't stand people that are living in ignorance. This guy cost him his life. So... What else do we have here? Okay, there's a certain country that shall not be named. Reopens with a green pass for the VC. So this was going to be our life. You're going to be excluded from certain activities in certain parts of life. 
if you don't have your green pass. Look at this. Oh, he's at the gym. Hey, you want to go back to the gym? You got to be like BB. We're going to hop off of that because YouTube's very sensitive about that too. Young military personnel reject the VC. In warning for commanders in the nation. Oh, those bad military people. I'm proud of them. February 27, 2021. Let's read this article. This is very promising. And this is what makes me feel better about our own military not getting involved in trying to shove things down our throat. This makes me happy. Americans who go into military understand the loss of personal liberty. Who would do this? Who would go and join an organization where you knew you were going to lose your rights? Many of their daily activities are prescribed as their hairstyles, attire, and personal conduct, and so much more. If they go into overseas theaters, they are actually required to take a battery of shots. So your health too. You lose your health freedom. But not in this case. In this particular case, they gave them the option of whether or not to take the VC. It says here that they saw a rare opportunity to exercise free will. This is what they're this is uh them trying to write it off. Oh, this is why they didn't take it. It's because this is their only opportunity to exercise free will. It's like if we would have never given them a choice to choose red or blue shoes and then now they're going to choose red because we gave them it. This is ridiculous on its face. This They didn't do it because of that, because of a rare opportunity to express free will. They did it because they get it. Now this is crazy. Some of these numbers are as high as 50% of them said no. This is awesome. The Army tells me what, how, and when to do most everything, said Sergeant Carroll. was based at Fort Sill, an Army post in Oklahoma. They finally asked me to do something, and I actually have a choice, so I said no. He represents a broad swath of members of military, largely young, healthy set of Americans. Okay, here's, here's the article trying to sway things again, right? Oh, these are just young, healthy people. So maybe we can let them not take it because they're probably going to do just fine. They're declining to get it, which for now is optional. For now is optional among personnel. They cite an array of political and health related concerns. Now, there's some truth right there. That should be at the top of the article. But this reluctance among younger troops is a warning to civilian health officials about the potential hole in the broad scale immunity that medical professionals say is needed for Americans to reclaim their collective lives. So you don't get to be free unless you comply. At the end of the day, our military is our society. They have the same social media, the same families, the same issues that society at large has. Roughly one-third of the troops on active duty have declined to take the VC. Military officials recently told Congress, in some places, the nation's largest, uh, North Carolina, Fort Bragg, the largest military installation, the acceptance rate is as low as 50%. Now, let's read between the lines here. What's really going on? I think that they're trying to see they're trying to basically set up the new military. And they allowed this as a choice, as a litmus test, to see who they need to get out of the military or not promote. Do you see how this works? It's like dangling a carrot. It's like a setup. Now, if you decline... Okay, for those of you that are in the military, right? Listen very closely and corroborate or discredit what I'm about to tell you. Let's go in here and talk to you guys. For those of you that served in the military, and I know a lot of people that have, you know that you are not given a choice for VCs. You know this. So why all of a sudden are they giving you a choice 
for what we're told is a serious spamdemic that is affecting the world. Why all of a sudden are they now giving you a choice? Do you see what I mean? It's a setup. They're trying to weed out and find out who is on board and who's not. Those who are not on board will just flatline in the service or quickly be taken out or moved out. And those that do comply will get the promotions and become the generals and all that stuff. Am I right or wrong? That's what I feel like is going on here with this. But bless you to those of you that did, stood up and understand what's going on. Now here's another light at the end of the tunnel. They're awake to the right-left paradigm. Because you would think that if they were in huge support of Mr. T, the, the former president that they would have taken this VC, right? Because he made it after all. So this is an indication that they're not buying the right-left paradigm. They're not suckers for this. Oh, but the mainstream media tells us, oh, everybody, all oh, the military is in huge support of Mr. T. They're all right-leaning, blah, 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 blah. No, it's not true. Another lie. Yes, to pick you out in a crowd, border wall. You're exactly correct. What better way to find out who's on board and who's not than to give them a choice and see what they do? Now, while the Pentagon officials say they are not collecting specific data on those who decline the VC, there is broad agreement that refusal rates are far higher among younger members and enlisted personnel are more likely to say no than officers. Military spouses appear to share that hesitation, so the spouses aren't doing it either. So... That's what's going on with that. I think that's about it. Oh, this will be in the next trailer. The virus in the series counterpart is called the Munchen virus. Weird, right? And here's Steve Munchen says that the White House is working on a mass distribution of the virus. It was a flub, but maybe he was telling the truth. So, that's it, you guys. Let's go back here in the chat. There you go. Here's some uh, vets, military vets, chiming in, letting us know what the truth is, that they would never, ever give someone an option to take a VC, especially... When there's a so-called spamdemic going on. Especially. So there you go. So there's something going on here. Alright. Welcome everyone. Oh man. Crazy, crazy. Now tomorrow's live show. Is going to be on the other channel. We're going to talk about the tan ban. Okay. You are now going to be shamed. If you're a white person, you're going to be shamed now. If you get a tan and want big lips, they're going to say you're black fishing. So we're going to talk about the ridiculous notion of that. We're going to, we call it the tan ban. And that'll be tomorrow's show on the backup channel. The link is in the, the uh, description. So click on that link. It'll take you to the backup channel. Make sure you hit the, the bell notifications. We're going to be spending more time over there to get that channel up and running. Just in case this one gets messed with. So I appreciate your support. Have you seen Westworld Season 3? Yeah, we decoded that, Jaded Topaz. We decoded Westworld Season 3. With with uh, Rehoboam and all that. Now, it's interesting. The star of uh, Westworld. The lady who plays like the Terminator robot. Um, she's been speaking out quite a bit. About what's going on in Hollywood. About the abuse that's been taking place. And of course they try to discredit her. She uh, was dating uh, Marilyn Manson. All the way back to when she was like 15 years old. And he like groomed her into his girlfriend. So that happened. And then she called out. KB Bryant. As doing what he did in Colorado. Because everyone's, you know, all upset because he's gone. Well, the guy, the, the lady had choke marks around her neck. They had pictures of it. Where did those come from? 
and all that just got washed away. And yeah, she didn't uh, move forward. Probably she got shamed and threatened. But yeah, she had choke marks on her neck. We covered that too. And then after that, he, ch he changed him his name to the Mamba. And what they do is they choke their mate during, during uh, mating. That's what Mambas do. They wrap around their neck just like he did. It's free. You guys, we're living in a crazy reality. Crazy reality. And if you're not keyed in to the spiritual, you will miss 99% of what is getting thrown at you. And this is why you guys come here because we look at the spiritual aspects of all this. So, what else do we have here? Um, I'm just reading the chat here. Yeah, and this just wasn't just rough, you know, playing in the bedroom. Uh, in order to put bruises on someone's neck, they have to be near death. So that's what that's all about. All right. All right, you guys, we'll be back on here tomorrow. Thanks for hanging in there. I know this is some heavy subject matter, but, you know, I, what we try to do here is is give you actionable decodes. When I say that, it's something that you can share and show people that they're not going to go, oh, you're crazy. This is why I take so much time to edit together these trailers and do these shows every single day, hoping that some of them will be actionable decodes that you can take to people that you know and wake them up not for my benefit so that they don't start making decisions and choices and going along with what they're told in the mainstream just because it's mainstream to make them scratch their heads and like take a minute and figure out what's going on okay that's what this is about now i'm happy to announce it, I do not believe that my mother will be taking the VC. And that just makes me happy. Because, and I don't know if it has anything to do with anything that I put up on my channel. But I do talk to her about these things. I show her articles. I showed her this one. So I, I hope that some of this stuff gets through to people. Okay. Where is the natural immunity message? Where is the message telling you... From Slouchy's mouth that you should take care of your immune system and eat fruits and vegetables and don't eat a lot of fast food and make sure you get exercise at least two or three times a week. Where is that message? It's non-existent and it's non-existent for a reason. He might have some credibility if he actually led with that message instead. And said, you know what, many of you might not need this VC because... You have a strong and healthy immune system and let's focus on the people that maybe don't. Then he might have a little bit of credibility. But at the end of the day, there is no message whatsoever about that at all. It's glaringly absent. So, all right. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Be well. And be saved if you haven't already.